Hello, hello, my dear students. Good evening. How are you today? Very good. Very good. I am very happy to hear that. Is it yeah. raining near your house? No les ha llovido por ahí por sus casas. No, teacher. Good yeah. evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. I Thank heard you. that it was raining in some parts of Santa Ana and I think in, in El Congo in these places. Uh, here in my house, it's raining. Oh, really? A little bit, yes. Hey, that's so nice. Where do you live? Uh, Tonagatepeque. Oh, fantastic. Now, here yeah. in San Salvador, it's not raining. It's very hot. Very it, it is very hot, so it's not raining at all. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to see you and to listen to you once again. For sure, to be here um, in class. Today is our class number 12. Poor Mr. Julio is very hot. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Está <laughs> sufriendo con el calor. It's a hot day. Yeah, I think everybody. But Holy Week is coming. It's very common in our country. Ya se siente la Semana Santa. Imagine in April, it's going to be more. It will be horrible. It will be very, very, very hot. Well, <clears throat> yesterday we were talking about what? What do you remember from yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? We talked about the verbs. We talk verbs. about the verbs, right? The verbs in past. In and past. we talk about the different uh, types of verbs. Tell me the two yeah. types of verbs that we have. What are the two yeah. types of verbs that we have? Irregular verbs and uh -huh. regular verbs. Irregular and regular, very good. Which ones do you like more? The regular or the irregular? Regular. <laughs> the regular. I think everybody, everybody yeah. likes the regulars. Okay, today I am going to uh, work a little bit on that. And we're going to focus a bit on pronunciation. And we are going to work also on a practice or grammar practice of the verbs. Okay. So tell me one activity that you did exactly before the class. One activity that you did exactly before the class. What did you do exactly before the class? I uh, in present. I in, in present, teacher. No, 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 in past because ah, it, it's past. already in the past. Un okay. segundo atrás, past. <laughs> I watch a uh, soap opera. You watch a soap opera. Very good. You watch a soap opera. What did you do before class, Mr. Julio Ortiz? <laughs> Perdón, teacher, no entendí, estaba escribiendo. Uh... Uh, one activity that you did before the class. I mean, justo antes de la clase, what did you do? Uh, driving. I drove, you say, I drove, because it's I, in past. I drove. I, I drove. drove, okay, good. So remember that if the activity is done, it's past, right? I drove. I had dinner. I had dinner, excellent, very good. That's a very good answer. Mr. David. Uh, when I I have um eat it. So you say what is the past tense of eat? Ate. At eight, eight. So you say okay. I ate. I ate. I okay. ate. Yes, I ate pizza. Okay. <laughs> Good. Let's see. Uh, Noemi, what did you do before class? I ate dinner. 
You ate dinner, good. Or I had dinner, right? Cené. Or I ate dinner, that's correct. Mr. Jorge Luis, what did you do before the class? I uh, eat dinner. What is the past tense of eat? I drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, me la sé, le cambio la oración. Uh, I ate dinner. I ate, ate. I okay. drank coffee. I drank coffee. I drank coffee. coffee. Good. Very good. Buena estrategia. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I change it and that's it. <laughs> good. Very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Jorge. Elba Carolina, give me one example of something that you did before the class. I have to eat. I ate. I ate. I ate. I ate. Right. Good. It is difficult. It is difficult to to give this change to your brain, right? That you don't have to think in present, because eh, un segundo atrás ya es pasado. Un segundo adelante es futuro. So the present is like. I don't know, like little microseconds in life. So if already happened, past tense, and you have to change the verb to the past tense form, right? For example, before the class, I watched TV, and I took a shower, and I ate dinner, okay? That's what I did before the class, right? So you have to transform the verbs into past tense. So you can give the idea of the past. And I will have one more example. Mr. Eduardo Romero, what did you do before class? I watched, I watched TV. You watched TV, very good. And Mr. Elmer, what did you do before class? Excuse me, teacher. What did you do before class? Ah, Welcome back. Lo agarré en curva. So, yesterday we did this, right? We did these sentences and you were telling me the sentences in present and I was going to use them today for you to practice your past, right? In this case, if these activities already happened, we are going to change the verbs into past tense form. So okay. what, is, what is sentence number one in past? In past. In, uh -huh. uh, I went to work. I went to work. Let me just double this one so I can, uh, okay, I can work on this one. I went. went. I went to work. Right. Here we have, I went to work. And in this sentence, it's in past, right? What about this one? Yes. Thank you, Elmer. Who can help me with the next one? Welcome. I drove car to work. I drove I my drove car. My car to work. Excellent. What about the next one? Everybody can participate. Todos pueden participar, no hay problema. I prepared, I prepared coffee. coffee. I prepared coffee. What about the next one? I cleaned the car. I cleaned the car. Very good. The next one. I ate, I ate, I ate breakfast. I ate. I ate breakfast. The next one. I, I went, went to the bank. bank. I went to the bank. The next one. I went, I went, to, went to, to the church. I went to church. The next one. Uh, uh, I picked up. I picked I, up my uh, girl at school. At the school. next one. I, I have my dinner. I have my dinner. I have very good. Uh, what about the next uh, one? I drunk. Drunk. I drunk okay. in the morning. I drank. I drank. Uh, drunk uh, is another uh, thing, right? I, I drank uh, milk in the morning. The next one. Red. It's the same, I right? Have a book. You don't change the verb, but you change the pronunciation. You say, I read. I read a book. The next one? I checked. Check. I checked my, my phone. phone. The next one? 
did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did exercise. exercise. Very good. The next one? I ate tacos. I ate tacos. The next one? I rode my bike. I rode my bike. I rode my bike. The next one? I cook. I cook. Is it is it correct to say I cooked every day? Yo cociné todos los días. I cooked yesterday. I cooked yesterday. This sentence could be correct if you say this one, for example. Okay. Imagine that you say this one. I cook every day last week. Last week. Cociné cada día de la semana pasada. In that case, it's correct. But if I say I cooked every day, it's not possible. But you can say I cooked last week. And the last one? Took. I took. I took a bus. Took. I took a bus. Right? As you can see, this is the way we need to work on the brain, right? For you to remember that we need to talk in past. And it is, when you think about this, it's easy. And you say like, ah, sí, así es, así es. Pero tenemos que acostumbrar también al cerebro que no las transforme a pasado instantáneamente. It's a matter of practice, right? You need to practice. But it's going to be, it's going to be very, very, very beneficial. So here I have eight different activities that people hate to do. Do you agree with this? Do you hate to do these activities as well? Yes. The first one, the first one that we have is a stand in line. It's like, do the laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house and open the email. What is the top activity that you hate? Travel manager stand in line. Stand in line, <laughs> yeah. I hate to stand in line. For example, I don't go to the yeah. bank. I hate it, Ash. Yes. Now we have everything on the apps. So why? Bank what for? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's horrible. That's horrible. Uh, let's see. Ingris, what is one activity that you hate? Huh? Meetings. Go to meetings. Go to meetings, right? When the meetings are very long and you are like, punto cuatro de veinte. Oh my God. Wilfredo, what is the one activity that you hate? Uh, I hate uh, travel to work. Traveling to work. Yeah, it's like, uh, and mostly when you travel very far from your house. Anna, what is the activity that you hate? Maybe clean the house. Clean? <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, I hate clean the house. Yeah. Be they, maybe because I am a little bit allergic. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A little <laughs> bit of dust is like, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I remember. It's like, and oh, I hate. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In now, this time, we a don't need. Allergy, COVID. Cough, COVID. <laughs> COVID. Flu, COVID. COVID. Anything, COVID. Saliva, COVID. COVID. <laughs> Everything is COVID. Yeah. So let me see. Mr. Juan Eduardo, what is one activity that you hate to do? I hate to laundry. I hate to do laundry. You know, I love to do laundry. What I hate is to hang up the clothes. It's like to put the clothes there and the things. It's like, yes. oh. And then select the clothes. And then it's like. And then I up the clothes. Tiempo para lavar, 15 minutos. Para atender, 15 minutos. Para ordenar, de 7 a 20 meses hábiles. <laughs> Because it's all the clothes there. Ahí. Más si tienen alguna cama sola ahí en la casa. Ahí pone la mañana. La mañana. Oh my God. No, no, no. I hate to do the laundry. No, no, no. I hate it. Well, honestly, I hate to wash the dishes. Mostly. Ew. Ah, yeah, me too. 
<laughs> Mr. Carlos Regalado, tell me one activity that you hate to do. I, I stand in line. Stand, stand in line. Stand in line, right? Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand, stand in line. Yeah, it's very boring. Yeah, I remember for the for the pandemic when they were going to give the three hundred dollars, it was like thousands of people in line, and I was like, come on. Yeah, it was it was really crazy. I mean, those days were very crazy. I go to Alban every day every to check if, uh, if it was there. Well. So, my dear students, let's work a little bit on transformation. We're going to transform the different verbs. Mr. Julio, what is the past tense of break? Break. Uy, no, no, no. Break no. is irregular. Um, Use el comodín 50-50. <laughs> Jenny, can you help? I, I help you. Broke, right? Broke. Very good. Now, Jorge, what is the past tense of do? I did exercise. Exercise. Yeah, okay. Did. Good. Even with example. That's very nice. Jenny, <laughs> let's see. Jenny, what is the past tense of feel? Felt. Felt, very good. Elmer, what is the past tense of have? How? Have, have, very good. Daisy, what is the past tense of see? Which one? So, 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 so. Very good. Let's see. Elba, what is the past tense of bring? Broad. I, I didn't listen to your microphone, but I, I read your lips. Broad. The next one. What is the past tense of drink, Wilfredo? What is the past tense of drink? Drunk. Drunk. Very good. Carlos, what is the past tense of get? <laughs> Los cachatos viendo la lista. Get. Uh, get. Get it. No. What is the past tense of get, people? It's a god. It's oh. god because it's irregular, right? God. Let's see. Eduardo, what is the past tense of no? New. New. Very good. Abigail, what is the past tense of sit? What is the past tense of sit, Abigail? Sat. Sat, very good. Let's see. Juan Eduardo, what is the past tense of buy? Boat. Boat. <laughs> A little bit of help. Thank you. A decirlo iba. A decirlo iba. <laughs> okay, okay, Juan Eduardo, the next one. Uh, eat. What is the past tense of eat? Eat. Yo vaya bien investigado. <laughs> what is the past tense of eat? At, at, no, que no, sé, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Eight. 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 Uh, you eight, see, eight. Jenny, Jenny is very good. She helped you. What is the past tense of give? Uh, let's see. Mr. David Morales, what is the past tense of give? Give it. It's irregular. Mm -hmm. It's irregular. Oh. What is the past yeah. tense of give? Help public. Gave. 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 Past tense of make. Of make. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Make. Sorry. <laughs> Can you listen to me? Make. Yes, teacher. Yes, sorry. Make. Yo misma desconecté el micrófono. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What is the past tense of take? Took. Took. Very good. What is the past tense of cut? Cut. 
Cut. So, cut is the same, right? It's not cut, it's cut. And the next one, what is the past tense of fall? Failed. It's failed. Okay, failed because felt is the yeah. past tense of feel. We need to be yeah. very careful with that one because felt is the past tense of feel. Feel, right? The next one, what is the past tense of go? Went. 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 Very good. And what is the past tense of read? Red. 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 Like the color, right? Red. And what is the past tense of think? So. Thought. Oh. Right? Thought. Very good. Oh. Excellent. This is good for you to exercise your brain and the action of looking for them on the list, right? Aquí tengo la lista, teacher. <laughs> it is good. Very good. So. In the, in the case of pronunciation, yesterday you asked me about this and how to differentiate the pronunciation of the verbs in regular forms. So this is kind of a, a, a little bit of organization and observation at the moment of talking about these type of verbs in past. But all the verbs that in the normal form finishing T or in D are going to have the pronunciation of id, right? Say wanted, needed, right? You have the id at the end. Why? Because the verb in the normal form ends in T or in D, right? You say want, need, okay? Do you have any other example of verb that ends in T or in D? Do you have any example of any other verb that finish in T or in D? Visit. Visit. So in the past tense, it's going to be visited, right? Visited. Another? Paint, teacher. Paint. So in the past, it's going to be painted, right? Painted. Another one. investigate so you have investigated right with id at the end so here i am going to share also a, a big 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 uh, list of categories here all the verbs that end in p in k in sh in ch in gh in th in ss in c or in x are going to be mentioned as t, t sound. You say helped, looked, washed, watch, laughed, breath, kissed, danced, and fixed. Did you listen to the t at the end? So how do you read this one? Todos, ¿cómo leeríamos este con un sonido de t al final? Helped. 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 The next one? Helped. 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 Looked. Looked. Washed. Looked. Watched. 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 Aquí va más complicado porque en watch tienen las dos t. Como cuando venga un chico o una chica. Well, here in El Salvador applies for everything. Aquí aplica para el pan, para alguna chica guapa, para un chico guapo, para alguien que vio, para alguien que se pasó. The sound. Everything. Laughed. Okay, you say breathed. Kissed. Danced. Fixed. And in this one, the sound is D. You say Cold, cleaned, suffered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. 
It's now that you classify them, it is not difficult to pronounce them, right? Ahora que los clasificamos, ya dicen, ah, now I know que no puedo decir help. <clears throat> no, it's helped with it. Sound. You cannot say want, say wanted, needed, right? If you know that the verbs end in T or in D, you know that you have to change and to use it with ir. All the examples of these ones, for example, we can have suggest, you say suggest till, accept, accept till, right? Chat, chat in. Uh, you can have start, start till, uh, interrupt, interrupt till, right? And you have the pronunciation of the of the different verbs. I have here a little exercise for us to recognize them. Let's see if we can recognize the different forms of the verbs. Here we have the ones for il, the ones for di, and the ones for t. I need you to turn off the microphone and practice without the microphone. Después vamos a abrir todos los micrófonos y vamos a practicar todos. Here you have the pronunciation of the ones with il, the pronunciation of the ones with d, and the pronunciation of the ones with t. Right? Suggest, suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted. Okay? But we are going to do the exercise like this. Ok, voy a silenciarlos a todos ahorita. Aunque le digan que se siente, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué estás haciendo en clase? Ahí en su casa. Practíquenlos en voz alta. Practíquenlos en voz alta, aunque le digan, ¿qué te pasa? Estoy en clase. <ríe> Practíquenlos en voz alta y traten de, de articularlos la mejor manera posible. Ahorita todos con los micrófonos apagados, después los encendemos y practicamos. Ok, ahorita, listen to me. Suggested. Bolded. Ahí con su casa, con el micrófono apagado, usted repítalo fuerte. Suggested. Bolded. Waited. Wanted. Shouted. Hunted. Adopted. Accepted. Painted. Contacted. Hated. Included. Landed. Needed. With the D sound. Say lived. Climbed. Phoned, waved, arrived, cleared, studied, listened, toured, considered, traveled, stayed, rescued, happened, with the t sound, announced, cooked, walked, talked, finished, laughed, brushed, Crashed, worked, liked, attacked. Okay. Practice, 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 practice. Siganlo practicando. Y usted solito. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Practice, practice, practice. I want to see you moving your mouth and practicing. Ahí todos moviendo la boquita. Practiquen. I need to see your cameras, please. I cannot see Abigail, Wilfredo, Juan, Mr. Eduardo. I cannot see you. Yanira, Mr. Cesar. Practice the verbs. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you. Hoy tiene otro background, Eduardo. Muy bien. <laughs> eh, Mr. Cesar, Yanira, Josué. I cannot see your cameras. Thank you very much. I need to see you practicing. Practicing, practicing, practicing. Good. And I am going to need six volunteers. Six volunteers. Raise your hand on the platform. Six volunteers. Thank you very much. I have two. I have Eduardo, I have Jenny, 
you are going to be with the first category, is. I need other two volunteers. Now. Okay. Now. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, who was the next volunteer? Kim, Kim, el otro voluntario. I have Evelyn. Se me fue el otro voluntario. ¿Quién era? ¿Quién era? Solo escuché el mi teacher, pero no lo alcancé a ver. I am going to choose. Okay, I have Evelyn for uh, the next category. Evelyn is going to be for the category of D, right? D. And who else? More volunteers? No tengan miedo. Si se equivocan, está bien. Es más, para eso estamos, para corregir los errores. Thank you, Mr. Elmer, another volunteer. <laughs> With the D sound. And for the T, I am going to have uh, Cesar and Juan Eduardo. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> ya ven que sale mejor ofrecer la voluntariedad. <laughs> Eduardo and Jenny. Eduardo is going to be in the first uh, line and Jenny is going to share the second one, okay? So okay. in this case, uh, Eduardo is going to be on this line, then uh, Jenny is going to be on this one. Then Evelyn goes on this one and Elmer goes on the next one. And then I have Mr. Juan and who was the next one? Se me perdió el otro voluntario. Okay, so we're going to, to choose the next volunteer. Mr. Eduardo, the stage is yours. Go ahead. Suggested, voted, waited, wanted, showed, hunted, adapted. Accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Okay, suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, and needed. Very good job, my dear students. Excellent. Now let's go with the D sound. Evelyn, please go ahead. Leave it. Clean it. Say lived. Oh. Sorry? Lived. Lived. Clean it. Continue. Wave, wave it. All right. Clear, clear it. Start, study. Okay, study. A, a little bit. Say so in this one, the sound is th. you say lived, climbed, phoned, waved, arrived, cleared, and studied. Good, studied. And the next one, we go here with Mr. Who was for S? Mr. Elmin. Mr. Elmin. Yes, teacher. Listen, what, what do you say? Tour, tour, tour. Because tour is like when you go on, on a tour, it's a like tour. Okay, tour, consider you travel, is stay. What do you mean to say? Re, rescue. Rescue. Res rescue. rescue. Happened. 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 Very good. Happened. Mr. Juan Eduardo, go ahead with it. Sound. Announce it. Announce it. Uh -huh. Walk it. Talk it. Finish it. Type it. Okay. In this sound, my dear one, it says you say announced. Announced. The ED. Toda la announced. Letra, la letra ED es como que usted tuviera la letra T aquí. So you say announced. Mm. And for example, when you read it, you say announced, cooked, 
como que lo leyeran con una T aquí al final. Oh. Walk. Ah, continue. Talk. Talk. Finish. Finished. Finished. Type. Type. Finished. Very good. Type. And now, who was the next one for this one? ¿Quién era mi último voluntario? Chan, chan, chan. Ajá. Mr. Cesar, help me. Thank you very much. <laughs> le, vi, le vi que me quería ayudar. Se le notaba. The next one. You say? Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm laughed. Loud. Broad. Brushed. Brush. Crash. Crashed. Crash. Work. Very good. Like. Liked, right? Liked. Attacked. 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 Okay. Attacked. So in this one, remember that if you have this type of verbs, let's see, if you have this type of verbs, we have to remember that. For example, in this one, imagine that you don't have the E. Can you say lived, climbed, phoned? Waved, como que le borráramos la D y mencionáramos la palabra así como está. You say arrived, cleared, you don't say cleared, right? And let me see. Here we have listened, right? Toured, considered. And in this one, yes, as if you have suggest. Till, both till, waited. Hagan de caso que los transforma. Obviamente cuando los escriban no los van a escribir así, ¿verdad? pero para que se recuerden de la pronunciación de los verbos. Right? Say, suggest suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted. Right? And here you transform the pronunciation. Can you practice with me again? Suggested. Everybody, open your microphones. Suggested. 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 Voted. Voted. Waited. Waited. Wanted. Wanted. Shouted. Hunted. Adopted. Adopted. Accepted. Accepted. Let's see. Oh, sorry, Jenny, I turn off your microphone. Painted. Painted. Contacted. Contacted. Hated. Hated. Included. Included. Landed. Landed. Needed. 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 Very good. The next one. Lived. 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 Climbed. Climbed. Found. Found. Waved. Waved. Arrived. Arrived. Cleared. Cleared. Started. Started. Listened. Listened. Toured. Toured. Considered. Considered. Traveled. Traveled. Stayed. Stayed. Rescued. Rescued. Happened. Happened. Now with it. Sound. Announced. Announced. Cooked. 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 Talked. Finished. 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 Typed. Laughed. Laughed. Brush. Crash. Crash. Work. Light. Attack. 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 Okay. I am going to share with you. I am going to share with you this uh, list. Here I have the list, and here you have all the ones that go with the T, 
all the with the ones that go with the e, the d, and all the ones that go with the e. Okay, so you are going to have it for you to practice, recognize them, and for you to actually go one by one. Así como nos fuimos ahora en la clase leyéndolos todos con la pronunciación correcta, así se tienen que ir ustedes con la lista leyéndolos todos y practicando la pronunciación de e, d, and Okay, so I am going to send it to you at the end of the class. So uh, you are going to have a lot of work to do. Tienen un montón de entretención que hacer ahí durante el fin de semana. Yesterday we were practicing with the grammar, right? That in the affirmative sentences, you use the verb in past. In the negative sentence, you use didn't, right? This is for regulars and irregulars. So we are going to go over a little bit of practice. Now that we have identified the verbs, the categories and the pronunciation, we are going to do a little practice. Here I have my brother and I, what is the complement here for the past tense? My brother finished. and I finished, 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 finished our homework a few minutes ago. Susan liked, very good. Night. Joe, Joe, what is the past tense of break? Break. Broke. 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 What is the past tense of meet? Meet. I met, very good. Uh, the next one, my parents. Went. 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 We watched. 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 Very good. And you, and you use the pronunciation. That's very good. <laughs> the next one, negative. Not go. Didn't go. Didn't go. Very good. Go. Didn't go. And the next one, it says, wear you, your jacket. For the questions, you use where, did, you, live. Uh -huh, because you have did, right? Si ocupamos el auxiliar, el verbo queda normal. The next one, this is a question. At the beginning, we are going to use did, you, did you, hate, did you hate it? Broccoli when you were a child and Peter, Red. 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 Red.
a very scary horror film last night. Very good job. The next one, Denny. Um, Emma didn't, didn't go to school when she was ill. I. Okay. Emma didn't go to school when she was ill, right? When she yes. was ill. The next one, okay. let's go with uh, Daisy. Where do you, you leave your jacket? Very good job. And here we continue with Carlos. Did you have broccoli when you were a child? A child. Did you hate broccoli when you were a child? And the last one, Cesar, please. Hi, hi. The last one, please. Peter. Okay. Peter, Peter read a very interesting book yesterday. Okay, Peter read a very interesting book yesterday. Thank you very much to all my volunteers, democratically, right? All the volunteers chosen. Something curious that you can see on the sentences. I was marking some phrases on the sentences. What can you, uh, what can you see? What can you analyze? What can you get from these sentences that I mark? ¿En qué se fijan en todas las oraciones? Les marqué algo. ¿Qué that, sería? The, the sentences uh, talking about the something that they do. Uh, something last. Okay, something in the past. Like in the past. <laughs> in the past. In, in the past. In the past. Okay. <laughs> These ones that I mark here are called time expressions, right? The time expressions mark the moment when something happened. These time expressions that I mark here mark the moment in the past when the action happened. For example, here you have my brother and I finish our homework when? A few minutes ago. A few minutes A ago, few right? Minutes ago. When did Susan like to skate? When she was a girl. When she was a girl. When she was a girl. When did Joe broke his leg? Three weeks ago. Three, Three weeks ago. ago. When did you meet your best friend Joe? In 2005, right? When did your parents go to the theater? Yesterday evening. Yesterday evening. Yesterday evening. Ah, 2005. 2000 is el 2000, right? 2000. 2005. Uh -huh. 2000, y ahí le va agregando. 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 21, etc. Right? 2021, 2022. Miss Anna, yes? Uh, this time special we can use only for past simple or we can use also for past participle. <laughs> okay, for past participle, it's a different thing. For example, when you say for past participle, you say like, I have been working since. Y ahí lo ah, yes. Since yes. 2005. Y ahí lo usamos de manera distinta. Eso creo que lo ven en el próximo módulo. Okay. That's the, the end of the book. But this, is, but this, is fresh, this is time expression is for simple past. Like this past is for simple, simple past because they yeah. mark things that happen in the past. For example, okay. yesterday evening, this morning, few, a few minutes ago, before the class, right? For you okay. to express that something is in past. For example, uh, in the case of Emma, when did, uh, no, sorry. Why did Emma didn't go to school? Because she was yeah. ill. Well, in this case, Ill. in this case, is it a time expression, this one? 
when she was uh, she was ill is it a time expression I, I think that is a reason it's a reason very good job it's a reason right when she was ill but when you say when she was ill maybe it's a moment in life but it's not a time expression the next one you when you have when you were a child yes because it's a moment of your life in the past right it's a moment of your life in the past yes Ingrid? Jenny, I don't know. Ah, the, uh, the, she was ill. Ah, when she was ill, yes. cuando, cuando estuvo enferma. Ah, okay. Because it says, Emma didn't go to school when she was ill. She was ill. Uh -huh. okay. ¿En qué periodo de tiempo no fue a la escuela? Cuando se enfermó, right? And in this case, did you hate broccoli when you were a child? Right? Ooh, three months ago. Hace unos añitos nomás. And... Peter read a very interesting book yesterday. Not today, yesterday, yesterday. right? He read a book yesterday. And that is the form that you use for the time expressions. It gives you more detailed information to the sentences in past. Because I can tell you, I ate pizza. And you tell me, aha, when? 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 Ayer, antier, el mes pasado, hace dos años, antes del COVID, oh. right? Oh, hey, that is, that is a time expression now, before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, when you give these type of expressions, you give more detail to the information, right? I ate pizza before the class, mm -hmm. right? And that is a very good explanation. So, this gives you more detailed information. Let's just work a little bit more now with the specific forms and questions. And it says, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed. stayed. I just stayed home and watched watch television. On Saturday, I I visited my friend Frank. We talked. 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 We 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 Ah, invite. 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 invited he invited invite. some invite. friends over and we good. 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 we cooked good. a great meal i i didn't, didn't work very good i didn't work i didn't work i didn't work very hard on sunday i didn't study. I didn't, I didn't, didn't, study. didn't, I didn't study, right? I didn't study oh. at all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. 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 Shop. Right? Shopped. Shop. Shopped. This is, and you see, now it's not that difficult for you to create sentences in past, right? Las primeritas les costaron en la clase, pero ahora ya vamos avanzando. That's very nice. So, I need one volunteer to read the story. Let's see. ¿Quién no ha escuchado su melodiosa voz esta noche? Uh, no, all of you have participated. Hmm. Josué Alexander. I haven't listened to Josué Alexander. Teacher. Mr. Josu Alexander, Mr. Josu Alexander, lo necesitamos en la clase. Y el ganador del lotín es Josué Alexander con 100 dólares. Ah, no lo reclamo. Anyway, <laughs> let's see. Mr. Eduardo, can you help us to read? Justo cuando Eduardo se levantó, lo agarró. <laughs> <laughs> Pobre Eduardo, agarrar el agüita. Ay, ay, como antes. Go ahead, Eduardo. Thank you very much. 
on Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend, but, sorry, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched the television on Saturday. I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music in the evening. He invited some friends over and we cooked and, and cooked, cooked and great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked, I just walked, walked to the, the mall, mall and shopped. shopped. Very good job. So a clap for Eduardo Pico. He did a very good job. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Hoy si puede tomar el agüita, Eduardo. Yo iba corriendo. Okay, so pronunciation. Remember pronunciation, you say stayed, watched, visited, uh, talked, listened, invited, cooked, studied, worked, and shopped. Anita, tell me. No, sorry. No, <laughs> I was the club. I, <laughs> I was. <laughs> it was clapping. She was sorry. clapping. Don't worry, don't worry. So, uh, everybody, go with me. On Friday night, on Friday on Friday night, night I waited for a phone call. I waited for a phone call. For a phone call. But my girlfriend didn't call. But my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home. I just, just stayed home, stay home and watched television. And watched watch television. television. On Saturday, on Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, in the evening he invited some friends over. He some friends over. And we cooked a great Shiny. meal. And we cooked a great meal. A great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't, Sunday. I didn't study at all. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. I just walked to the mall and shopped. And shopped. Very good job, my dear student. I just walked to the mall and shopped. Now, in order to finish the class in this last minute that we have, I have here sentences and I need you to tell me if it is affirmative for you or negative for you. And it says, yesterday I watched television. But if you didn't do it, you say yesterday, I didn't watch television. Last night I stay at home or I didn't stay at home. Last week I exercise or I didn't exercise. Last month, I shopped for clothes or I didn't shop for clothes. And last year, I visited a different country or I didn't visit a different country. I need you to tell me one sentence each. Affirmative or negative. And you can give me the example. Negative. Affirmative or negative. Si es afirmativa para ustedes que si vieron tele dicen I watch television. Pero si no vimos tele ayer, I didn't watch television. Okay. okay, so give me one. Cualquiera, la que, sea, la que se apegue a su realidad. Si se quedaron en casa, si se ejercitaron, si compraron, si visitaron otro país. O si no hicimos ninguna, I didn't. Yes, five. Elmer. Five. Go ahead. Uh, number, no, number five. Last year. I didn't visit a different country. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Elmer. You can go. Bye-bye. <laughs> ya se puede ir. Last week, I exercise every day. Very good. Thank you, Anita. Ya se puede ir. Number, thank you. Number Next. one. Julio, go ahead. Number one, yesterday, I didn't watch 
television. Very good job. Bye bye. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> Last night I stayed home. Very good. Thank you. You can go. Se pueden ir. Son libres. Last night I stayed at home. Last night I stayed at home. Thank you very much. Noemi. Last night I didn't. I didn't exercise every day. Okay, you didn't exercise every day. Thank you. Bye bye. Last month I chopped for clothes. Very good job. Thank you very much. Abigail, go ahead. Last year I visited my sister. You visited what? But thank you, Abigail. I got your answer. Thank Number you. Number five, can... teacher. Go ahead, David. Last year, I visited a different country. Very good job. Bye bye, David. Bye Next. bye. Last week, I didn't exercise every day. Thank you very much. Bye bye. What's next? Last. Last. Hi. Uh huh. Hi, last year I visited a different country. Very good, Cesar. Bye bye. <laughs> Next. Bye. Last month I shopped for clothes. Thank you, Elba. Bye bye. Next. Nice. Wait. I listen. Exercise every day. I didn't exercise every day. Thank you. Bye bye, Carlos. <laughs> Who's next? Number two, teacher. Uh -huh. Last night, I didn't stay home. I didn't stay home. Woo bye bye. <laughs> Take care, thank you, Jorge. Next. Chin, chin, chin. I think I am missing English. Last month, last month I shop Sunday for the clothes. I shop. For clothes on Sunday. Okay, my dear students, I am going to stop here and we are going to continue exercising tomorrow. Okay, practice the verbs and I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Have a beautiful night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.